Hello and welcome to Art Basel in Paris. Very excited to be in this wonderful city. Before we move over to the actual fair site, we are having a quick look at Champs-Élysées and um, the Arc de Triomphe. Here you can see right and left of the Champs-Élysées the flags indicating a major event, which is indeed Paris Plus par Art Basel, which is the official title of the fair. We just say Art Basel Paris. Here you see one of the most famous bridges of Paris, Bridge Alexander III, and in the background on the world famous Eiffel Tower. This is also the part of the city where the fair is located. Here we are, that's the actual fair site. It's called um, Grand Palais Ephemer, and it's a temporary structure as you can see, because um, the actual site where art fairs are usually taking place is undergoing massive reconstruction that will take several years. So let's go in and have a look at the actual fair. We're here in the entrance area. And the galleries you're going to find here in the front row are usually the big names of the gallery business. And um, these booths here are very large, but they're also the most expensive ones to secure. We're going to see some galleries that have been especially interesting and have a closer look at them. And for those viewers who want to do a little bit more research or want to go into more detail, um, there are all the links to the artists and galleries in the description box. This booth here is by White Cube Gallery. They are located in London with outposts in Hong Kong, New York and also here in Paris. And on the back wall you see a beautiful Tracy Emin painting, a British artist. And here in the foreground you see these antenna-like sculptures. They are by um, Greek artist Takis. He was one of the leading artists in the kinetic art movement of the 1960s. And then on the back wall again, we see a large painting by Georg Baselitz. It's one of his later works. Now we are at Mayoriga, a Berlin-based gallery. He shares the booth with Franco Nuero Gallery from Torino, Italy. And I wanted to show you this as an example of how beautifully a space can be designed, even if it's shared.
And this wonderful black and white painting in the background, by the way, is by German artist Peppi Bottrop. So this is a booth that really stands out. It's by LA-based gallery David Kordansky. The booth design is completely open, so you can see the artwork right away. And also they presented a solo show, which is more the exception from the rule at this fair. The works are by American artist Hilary Patches, who's known for her vibrant colors and her views of sun-drenched domestic still lives and landscapes. Across the hall is Victoria Miro Gallery, London-based. She is dedicating her booth to three artists, Celia Paul, Francesca Woodman and Kuzanai Violet Havami. Here we see works by Celia Paul, who is Indian-born British painter with a focus on contemplative, intimate portraits of people and places that are close to her. And this is Kudzanai Valad Havami, born in Zimbabwe and grown up in South Africa, who's often using collage to show the fragility of human life, as she says. This is uh, Simon Lee Gallery. They are London based with an outpost in Hong Kong. And um, you see here a classic fair booth presenting highlights of the gallery's program. In this case, modern and contemporary artists. They are representing, and you also see these works here, um, Li Ufan, Georg Karl Pfahler, Angela Bullock, George Kondo and Michelangelo Pistoletto. Moving down the aisle, we come to Max Hetzler Gallery. It's uh, an impressive booth, both with regard to size and presentation. And this painting here was a real eye catcher and got lots of attention. It's by Giulia Andreani. And this is a very special booth. It's by Gagosian Gallery, one of the largest players in the art market. Mm -hmm. The booth has been designed by French interior designer Pierre Iovanovic. And it has a circular cut with a column in the middle, which is an interesting concept because it makes the booth less hierarchical and gives all artwork equal attention.
We are now at a Berlin-based gallery, Kapitän Petzl. And right here you're seeing works by photographer Zoe Leonard, who's also having a museum exhibition here in Paris in the Museum of Modern Art. And this work on the left side is by Austin Martin Wright. And this is a painting by Tobias Pils. Our next stop is Ropak Gallery. We're seeing artwork by Sigmar Polke and Georg Baselitz, his more recent works as well as early works, and uh, sculptures by Anthony Gormley. Now, um, this booth is really exceptional. It's LGDR Gallery. And it's been designed by Belgian architect and designer Olivier Dweck. And the booth is elegant and subtle with its organic curves and perfectly corresponds with the artwork that is shown. Actually, it could be seen as a sculptural gesture by itself. Highlights in this booth are definitely the Calder Mobile, the small Niki de Saint-Fal sculpture, and works by Pierre Soulage and Lucio Fontana. Our last stop is a Skarstedt Gallery with a colorful and strong presentation of their top um, gallery artists. Eyecatchers were certainly a large format work of Carves with his big and bold gesture. And uh, David Sall who is greeting the visitors on the outside wall with a painting from his recent series, Tree of Life. We are now on the way out and leaving the site of the art fair, but um, this is not all, we have some more art to show you. There is something that art fairs, especially the larger ones, usually offer. It's a side program that can be lectures or performances, but it can also be outdoor art. And that's something we also wanted to show you. We're back in the city now at uh, the small palace, which is a beautiful building that's been built in 1900 for the World Fair. Here we see bronze sculptures by Swiss artist Ugo Rondinone. The series is called Monks.
Now we are in the Thierry Gardens, right next to the Louvre. And this is obviously a work by Niki de saint -Fal. And this is a beautiful sculpture by Italian artist Grazia Varisco. It's made of aluminium and varnish and pays homage to the kinetic art movement of the 1960s. This work is by a French sculptor, Hugo Schiavi. And with its poetic and romantic touch, it just perfectly merges with the surroundings of the Louvre and in the Thierry Gardens. The last stop of our outdoor tour is Place Vendôme. It's one of the most beautiful places in Paris. This impressive installation is by Alicia Quade and sets a dialogue between 17 natural stone globes and three concrete stairs. The artist mentions that the staircases symbolize human nature, which is continually trying to elevate itself, but then inevitably goes down again. So we'll leave you at that point with these thoughtful ideas of the artist and hope that you really enjoyed the video. Please feel free to subscribe so you're going to be notified when the next video is published.